let us discuss components of films in those the first one is image icon image icon is a class in swing when you create an object for this class that object can refer a real time image so image icon will refer or will hold a real time image if you want to place an image in any of the components of swings like j label j button j checkbox j radio button you have to use image icon if you want to place an image in the place of a component or within the component then you have to use image icon there are so many constructors in uh, image icon the important uh, constructor is accepting the file name of the image in the form of a string so that is about image icon we can understand why when we go through one small program a next component is j label label is an uneditable text if you want to display a text to the user then we have to use j label class you have to create an object for j label class and add that object to the container like j applet then a label that is nothing but an uneditable text will be displayed upon the uh, window within the applet within the applet now uh, when we look at constructors there are so many constructors important constructors are three one constructor accepts nothing second constructor accepts a string there is nothing but the text which is to be displayed as a label and the third constructor accepts an icon that icon will be displayed as a label icon in the sense image icon so an image can be displayed in the label in the place of text if you want you can use both text as well as icon also these are the constructors of label and next methods though um, there are so again there are so many methods uh, uh, within j label class important methods are get a text if you want to get the text which is visible to the user which is used as a text within the label then we can use get a text it will return a string if you want to change the text of the label then you have to use set text if you want to get the icon then you have to use get icon like that so many other methods are there those methods are used to perform some operations on the label now when you look at this program this is an applet this is a j applet the first line is uh, uh, importing awt package uh, uh, second uh, uh, line uh, is um, importing swing package and uh, next one we wrote uh, applet tag and here in this uh, there are uh, uh, three uh, attributes one attribute will tell uh, will provide uh, the name of the bytecode that's nothing but name of the class file so j label demo is the name of the class when you compile this class there will be it will generate a pro uh, another file with uh, extension dot class with a uh, uh, same name as class name so here we are not writing dot class not required dot class extension is not required but uh, we have to write uh, the name of the file name of the file is j label demo and width of the applet is 250 height of the applet is 150 and uh, we wrote that one in comment section that is nothing but during the compilation applet tag will not be considered but when you are executing uh, the program within the applet viewer then applet viewer will get the applet tag from the comment section now we are writing a class public class j label demo and it is extending j applet so j label demo will become an applet now we are overriding init method public void init and in this first statement is we are calling get contained pane method of j applet it will give the reference for the container of the j applet now use that container object in order to add the components within the j applet when we move to the next uh, statement we are creating an image icon object image icon object is referring one image with name mic1.gif make sure that this program and the mic1.gif in the same folder so we are creating an image icon so an, an image is referred by image icon with name ii and now we are creating an object for j label j label jl is the object reference is equals to new j label and we are passing three arguments 
uh, to this uh, J label constructor. One is Michael, there's nothing but the string which is to be displayed upon the label. Second one is the icon, II, image icon object that will refer an image. So we are displaying an image as well as text. Along with that, we are telling the alignment of the label, uh, how you want it. it should be centered or left aligned or light, right aligned. So this is one more constructor in JLM. There are so many constructors. So till now we have seen four constructors. This is the fourth constructor. And finally we are adding JL to C. What is C? C is a container. Container refers the content pane of J applet. So within the J applet, the label will be added. Okay, so that is about uh, label, a small program. You can execute that program and you can find out the output. And the next uh, component is JText field. JText field is similar to J, um, similar to text box in HTML. You can um, uh, get an input from the user in the form of a text, and it should be as it will be a single line text. Uh, user can edit the text, the user can enter his own uh, text. For that, we will be using J text field. And uh, again, here also there are constructors. First constructor accepts nothing, means what you can create an object for J text field without any text. Afterwards, you can add the text, no problem. While creating the object, you can create like that. And second one is we are creating an object by providing the initial text. And third one is by uh, we are we can create an object for J text field by passing the text to be displayed initially as well as number of columns uh, to be displayed uh, in that uh, J text field. And the last one is we can simply specify how many columns, how many number of columns are required. Uh, that one also can specify. And the, within the text field there will be nothing because we are not writing the text. Now. Uh, Within JTEX field class, there are methods like set text. If you want to um, provide some text into the text field, you can use set text. If you want to know the text, what the user has entered into the text field, you can use a get text. Sometimes you can make uh, uh, the text field as uh, um, uneditable. Uneditable in the sense user cannot enter anything into the text field. So that can be done by using the method set editable and you have to pass either true or false. If you pass set editable of true, then a user can edit the text field. By default, it will be editable. If you want uh, uh, the text box uh, text field to be uneditable, then you have to write, you have to call set editable of false. When you write false, user cannot enter anything. He can see the text field, but he cannot enter any text into the text field. Like that. So many other methods are there. Uh, these are the basic methods. Now when you look at the example, that importing is same, applet tag is similar, and uh, writing the class is also similar. We are using a init method. Within this, we are getting the content pane. And uh, uh, here, we are writing one more, uh, uh, one new statement. When we compare with previous program, there is nothing but content pane dot set layout. There's nothing but there will be layout managers for our components within the container. We have a container within that container. We have to tell how the component should be added, how the component should be displayed. That can be uh, specified by using layout managers. There are so many layout managers. This concept is from AWT. And now you can use, uh, um, in this program we are using uh, Flow layout, flow layout in the sense a components will can be added just like that, and each component will be added one after the other, one after the other, uh, right side of the. Uh, for a, if you add one component, afterwards if you add another component, that another component will be added next to the first component. Next, 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 like that it will be added. If the screen is filled, then it will come to the next line. Like that again, it will be added. If the uh, screen is filled, it, then it will come to the next line. Like that it it flows in by one direction that's why we are calling that one as flow layout and um, here we are uh, creating an object for JTEX field we are writing 15 that's nothing but 15 is the width of the particular text field number of columns and finally we are adding the JTEX field to the content pane now so that is about uh, J label and uh, JTEX field and uh, another one is J button 
J button button is uh, uh, J button class is used for uh, uh, button uh, we everybody knows what is a button but is not button is nothing but if you consider Gmail within the Gmail there will be uh, login password uh, text fields at the end there will be one small button if you click on that button then an action will happen it will check whether the username or email ID along with password are correct or not then only it will allow us to access uh, Gmail so button is used to fire an event uh, it is used uh, uh, if uh, generally user clicks on that particular button whenever user clicks on that button then it is indicating that an action to be performed it is an indication that an action to be performed so for that purpose we will be using buttons and uh, when you look at constructors there is empty constructor there is a constructor which accepts string generally whenever uh, you are taking a button there should be a text to be displayed upon it that's why we will pass string if you want you can create an image and that image can be added as button that's nothing but j button will accept an icon as a uh, argument to its uh, constructor means what an image can be referred by icon image icon and that image icon can be used in a j button constructor so that image will be displayed in the place of button and when we see methods uh, there are uh, similar methods like j text field uh, you can set the text uh, which is displayed upon the button we can get the text which is displayed upon the button we can uh, set change the icon by writing by calling set icon we can know what which icon is displayed which icon is used by using get icon and another important point is when you take button we have to perform an operation whenever user user clicks upon it means what you have to deal with event handling so click is an event that event is called action event for every action um, there is a um, uh, we represent every action by using an object we call that object as event object event object will tell uh, uh, what is the event when it occurs on which source on which object that event occurs all those details uh, uh, can be uh, specified by using event object now generally for event there will be source i think uh, um, in the next slide yes here it is we have event so event what is event that uh, if there is a change in the state of the object then we can call that one as an event for suppose previously the button was unclicked now it is clicked for suppose the pre previously the checkbox was unchecked now it is checked so there is a change of state uh, of the object so that can be considered as event and generally event describes about the uh, event uh, where it occurred how it occurred uh, what is the source of that what is the state of the source all those things and um, generally event occurs when the user uh, interacts with our uh, graphical user interface components for example clicking a button moving the mouse entering a character through keyboard all those are considered as events and uh, here there is a delegation event model in this model there is source and listener source is nothing but the object on which event is occurred for suppose if we consider in our example j button can be considered as source when you display j button it is not sufficient what we have to do we have to uh, deal with events also otherwise if you are not uh, uh, writing the code for event handling then when the user clicks upon the button nothing will happen so if something should happen then uh, you have to write the code for event handling so here j button is the source and we have to use a listener listener is an interface it has methods without body now what we have to do is our program has to write the body for the interface for suppose uh, uh, for action event we have to use action listener interface within the action listener interface there is a method called action performed so what happens is when the button is clicked uh, action listener will notice that click event and it will execute action performed method by passing action event the event what has occurred um, will be represented by using uh, action event that will be passed to action performed now within the action performed method by taking the action event we can handle the event that is what uh, event handling concept of course uh, when you want to deal with event handling the source of the event should be registered with the listener 
so that listener will start listening for an event on that particular object whenever e ob uh, event occurs on that object on that particular source then the event listener will listen it and it will execute its method so that we can perform an operation whenever event occurs so generally there will be event object that uh, explains uh, about uh, uh, what happened uh, uh, what event occurred how it occurred where it occurred and some other details can be stored in event object so we have event source event listener event object that is what event handling and that concept we can use in our j button class because in text field and in j label uh, it is okay when you are not dealing with uh, events but uh, here in um, j button you have to deal with event handling so the last method here um, in a j button class in this slide is action listener add action listener that's nothing but it is used to register the object but j button object to the listener when you add the action listener then only we can perform an operation whenever event occurs when you look at this example then we can understand what and all all those okay now um, the first three statements are uh, import statements afterwards we are writing applet tag and then we are writing a class so observe this class carefully public class we know this point and afterwards we are writing name of the class j button demo j button demo is the name of the class that's why when you look at uh, applet uh, tag we are writing code is equals to j button demo because when we compile this program it will create one more file with the name j button demo dot class so that's why we are writing j button demo uh, for code attribute and action j applet that's nothing but j button demo will become a j applet and another important point here is it is implements action listener this statement is written only for event handling okay so we are implementing action listener action listener is an interface it has a method that method is action performed you can uh, see at the bottom you can see at the bottom action performed method is overridden is implemented over here it accepts action event action event will tell about uh, uh, the event now we can take that action event within this method that is nothing but action event uh, ae so we are writing here ae dot get action command that's nothing but we can we are using the event object to get the details about the event within the action performed that's nothing but the method of the listener which we are implementing here action listener and another point is of course we know all these things we are uh, getting the content pane and another one is we are setting the layout for the container well in the previous example we have seen one layout that is flow layout and in this example this is grid layout that's nothing but there will be rows and columns and one cell is considered as one grid and you can place one uh, component within one grid that is the concept in uh, grid layout uh, in awt you might have studied all these things and uh, we are creating image icon object and uh, we are creating button object now image icon object uh, name is france and that france only we are pa passing as argument to j button so what happens uh, an image mic1.jf can be displayed as button and of course we are setting the action command this is one method from uh, button class uh, we can give a text as command and the same text is obtained uh, in the action performed method and that is displayed as a text to the text field that is displayed as text to the text field and of course uh, we are adding action listener we are adding action listener that's nothing but we are registering the button for the action event and afterwards we are adding we are adding j button then only j button will be displayed of course afterwards we are creating object for j text field and we are adding j uh, text field to the uh, applet so a text field will be displayed a button will be displayed when you click on the button the action command will be displayed as the text of the text field that is about uh, um, j label j text field and j button thank you for now and remaining concepts we will discuss in the next class